Okay, guys, this short is Curious Minds Want to Know, Will It Foil? So a lot of you have talked about coloring in images and then being able to foil them. So I brought out some supplies for you, and we're going to try them out. So the first one is the Anna Griffin Mink Pen. Now, I will say this one is very old and kind of starting to dry out, but they do sell a newer version, the Heidi Swap version, so you'll want to pick that up if this works. Um, next is my favorite, which is the Black Jelly Roll Glaze Pen. Okay. Uh, then I have the Tattered Lace Pen for my UK friends, which is basically the same as the Mink Pen. Just this one here. Okay. Then, by suggestion of one of our FSC members, somebody asked about the clear Jelly Roll glaze pen, which I didn't know they sell, but they do. And last but not least, the tried and true Zig Two Way glue pen, which you don't even need heat for this one. Okay. Now, the one I didn't try and I don't recommend because it's not my favorite product is the Heidi Swap Toner Ink. And someone said they were putting it inside of a brush marker and using it that way. Number one, that this stuff is super sticky and messy. Um, it does not um, come with this dropper top. I put that on there. So you would have to use some kind of a pipette to do that. And for me, too messy to deal with. And this stuff is not cheap. Okay. So let's see if our other products will work. I have them dried. We're going to put a piece of toner foil on there and we're going to run it through the mink on number three. So again, we have the mink pen, which again, I think you can get the Heidi Swap version now. I haven't gotten one. Um, the black jelly roll glaze, which I know works. This one's my favorite. The tattered lace foiling toner pen and the clear glaze Sakura and the Zig two-way pen. So all of these in theory should work without having to get sticky and messy and get this stuff out. I do not recommend this stuff. It is just not fun. It's literally like tar. All right. We're going to give that a second to cool down. And this not only comes in handy if you want to color in stamped images, but if you have little boo-boo mistakes where something didn't foil properly, then you can bring these items in and kind of draw it out and fill it in and then go over and foil it. So let's reveal... And all of them worked successfully. Even my dried up mink pen, the glaze, which is always my favorite. And I like that because it gives a little bit of a dimension too. So it's a little raised. The tattered lace pen worked beautifully. The clear glaze pen worked. I didn't know if it was going to or not, but as you can see, it did work. That actually looks fabulous. And the Zig two-way glue pen. So if you are looking for something to fill in your stamped images so that you can foil them, or you are looking to fix some foiling mistakes that maybe didn't foil so well, you can grab any of these items, dab it, let it dry, and then run it through with the foil again. Hopefully this is a helpful tip for you guys. If it was, please give this video a thumbs up. I will link all of these products that I can find down below for you. Thanks for watching and keep on foiling. Bye-bye.